Hi, BookTube. It's Gina. Happy Friday. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm glad it's the weekend. I'm ready for a couple days off work. Um, I've got some fun plans for tomorrow and really looking forward to a nice, relaxing weekend. But I wanted to talk to you today about May of the Moderns. Can you believe it is almost May already? I don't know. This this whole year, I must be getting old because I keep saying, time is flying, but it really is. This year, it's just gone by so fast. So I wanted to share some May of the Modern books with you. Now, I will link the announcement video. It's hosted by Margaret Pinard, and I'll put her, her video down below. Um, you know, I I love the modern era and the the modern ladies are some of my favorite authors i've got a stack of books here that i want to share with you but i do tend to play a little loosey-goosey with the prompts these days just because i'm i'm lazy you guys and i am tired <laughs> and i don't want to put too much thought into anything i just want to read which i know margaret does not mind um but i love the thought of a month that is focused on the the modern the modern era which i think is we're looking at 1901 to the beginning of world war ii i believe so like that early early 1900s um era i love that era i love reading books from that era a lot of my favorite authors come from that era so this is a a, a readathon that is just right up my alley and i wanted to share some books with you um so let's just get started. The first book I'm going to share, this is this book I don't know anything about. It's called Lady Rose and Mrs. Memory by Ruby Ferguson. And it's a beautiful Persephone edition. What's fun about this book, even though I don't know anything about it, I, I found this one used at Half Price Books. And I never, ever see Persephone's used. And it was under... I don't know, it was under, I think it was like $8. I don't remember exactly, but I love these Persephone editions. One of these days I'm gonna get to Bath and go to this store and take an empty suitcase because they're very expensive to buy with shipping here. Book Depository used to have them for uh, free shipping, but they don't anymore because they are out of business. But look at this beautiful end paper. I just, I love, I just love these editions. So this um, Lady Rose and Mrs. Memory was first published in, I think, 1939. I don't know anything about, 1937. Don't know anything about it other than it's a little slim, beautiful Persephone. It's very excited. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prioritize trying to get to this one for sure. I don't have a huge stack, so I actually think I'll be able to get to all of these. Um, the next, I'm going to show you another Persephone. Um, this is by one of my favorite authors. This is the Hopkins Manuscript by R.C. Sheriff. R.C. Sheriff also wrote Green Gates, which was one of my top 10 reads from not last year, but the year before, I think. I don't know. Um, about a, a couple who the, the man is retiring and their their challenges and struggles to, to kind of come to grips with that. And then he also wrote A Fortnight in September, which was about a family going to the sea, which I also loved. Um, and this one is the Hopkins Manuscript, and it is a science, early science fiction um, by him. I'm actually currently reading this. Look at this. Oop, I've got a got a little card in there because this was a present from a dear friend um, but look at that gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i did end up buying this one on my kindle which is 
And so it's a struggle, you guys. It's a struggle because I love these editions, but I almost never read them anymore. I read on my Kindle. So I'm having a little bit of an existential crisis here about buying books. I also just found out that I have to get rid of a couple bookshelves or replace them with some shorter bookshelves because we're getting um, some air conditioner uh, mini splits installed and they have to go... They're go, they go they go on the wall and the wall they go on is, it's not this wall, but it's the wall in the office that has also three tall bookshelves, but I need about 18 inches of space for my midi splits. So I'm really, I'm probably gonna have to unhaul a bunch of books. Sorry, it's a little bit off topic, but it's on my mind because I'm also just, not reading my physical copies all that much anymore. So I don't know. I love my Kindle, but I love I love these Persephone editions. And I also love my Dean Street Press furrowed middle brow. These are these are shiny. Um, this is The Fair Misfortune by D.E. Stevenson, one of my favorite authors. And let's see, this one was published originally um, in 1938. Dee Stevenson had a very, very long career. So she's got books, look at these dates here. Um, yeah, through the, the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. She had quite a long career. Um, heard wonderful things about this. I bought this a while ago. And even though... All right, time to be honest here. <laughs> Even though I love the idea of these these Dean Street Press furrowed middle brow books, I don't don't love the actual books. I don't love the problem is there there's the margins are so skinny on the inside and they're not very the books are not very floppy, so it's very hard to kind of read the center without without breaking the spine and then um the paper is not great so i don't know I, I love the idea of this i want to support them i've bought a few but i i don't know that i've actually ever read this this edition i always get it on my kindle i know i'm i'm i don't know you guys i i, I i'm I'm in a, I'm having a, I'm having a moment here. I will always have books. Don't get me wrong. The collection will stay, but there's, there's a lot of stuff that can go and a lot of stuff that I just, I'm just going to read it on my Kindle probably anyway. Um, so then I have three more. Um, I am probably going to do a reread. This is The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. This is such a good book to read in the spring. It was published, um, let's see, back in, uh, when was this originally published? I don't know. This edition was ha a copyright 1969. That's not when it was originally published. Um, I think it was in the 30s sometime. But anyway, um, it, that's a cute edition. I also have this one on my Kindle, so I can lay in bed and read it at night. Um, but this is so fun in, in the springtime because the very first scene in this book is, I mean, look, look at that illustration. Isn't that adorable? Um, the first scene is the mole doing some spring cleaning. The mole had been working very hard all the morning spring cleaning his little home, first with brooms, then with dusters, then on ladders and steps and chairs with a brush and a pail of whitewash till he had dust in his throat and eyes and splashes of whitewash all over his black fur and an aching back and weary arms. Spring was moving in the air above and in the earth below and around him, penetrating even his dark and lowly little house with its spirit of divine discontent and longing. Isn't that beautiful? I just, ah, I love it. Um, so I do want to do a reread of this. I love this book a lot. I've loved it ever since I read it the first time when I was 10-ish. Um, yeah, I was about 10. 
So definitely want to reread that. And then I've got two, two wild cards here. Um, the first one is The Window and the White Cat by Mary Roberts Reinhardt, a new favorite of mine. Um, this is a novel of romance and suspense. Um, and Mary Roberts Reinhardt, she wrote The Circular Staircase and uh, had um, a lot of suspense books romantic suspense, a lot of mysteries. Um, and let's see, this one was published originally in 1910. So she was actually a little earlier than I, uh, than I thought. Um, but I, this sadly, the label, I think, I think that was me that pulled that label off. Um, but I'm, I'm own a few of her books and am happily working my way through them because they're delightful little different like they're not any i've heard people say she is she's an america american agatha christie not at all very different styles very very different um and then i've also got um some daphne du maurier this is frenchman's creek look at that cover isn't that pretty i love these old paperbacks this is an old pan paperback and let's see this one was published in 1941 originally and I've read a few Daphne du Maurier I haven't read a lot of her books but um the ones I've read I've really enjoyed so I thought this was a this was a contender um so here's my little stack for May of the Moderns I hope that you, if you love this era, that you will participate. And if you don't love this era, or if you're not that familiar with it, check out something like D.E. Stevenson. Um, she's always a, a good for a nice, light, romancy, and fun fun story um, for that from, from that time period. So, um, so anyway, yep, here's my pile and I'm looking forward to it and I'll talk to you later.